Saints, man. And we are back, man, with another Rolling with the Rolling Stoner segment, man. Got the interviews back popping. Corona, you know what I'm saying? The whole lockdown, everything, COVID, whatever. We gonna keep it rolling, though, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, it is your boy, Francisco Phoenix, man. Here with my guest today, man. Master Double R, bro. What's going on, player? Man, hey. you ain't no big chin. Hey, big man. man. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. So, yo, we got IG Live right here. And then, of course, like, you know, for the main camera. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. We about to just, you know, chop it up, get down. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, of course, this is, uh, <clears throat> you, I'm pretty sure you already know because you already rolled up and shit. But <laughs> pretty rough. It's pretty you rough. feel me? Yeah, yeah. this is a, yeah. a 420 enthusiast like podcast. You know what I'm yeah, saying? We yeah. gonna we gonna light up and just listen to some good music. <laughs> chop it That's up. We do. Chop it up with your boy. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah. hell yeah, man. So real quick, bro. Like you know, what I mean? can you tell the people real quick? Like you know, what I mean, where you from? And bro, like you know, what I mean, what even got you into like you know. Uh, doing music because you got the brand too, mm-hmm. and you doing a lot of things, bro. So like, can you like just kind of dive into it real quick before we yeah. jump into yeah, the music? Yeah, definitely a hundred percent passion, purpose, music, and love yeah, to the yeah. whole game of hip hop. Originated from LA, born and raised in Culver City. Okay, so I'm pretty close to the ocean side. I mean, mm-hmm. it was locked down city life for a while to the point where like I got you know. Influenced by graffiti, and yeah. Graffiti took a whole, took me to a route where you could find, you could put yourself out there, but what are you gonna really share to the world? And what are you gonna do when you when you do create and share it to an audience? Yeah. And what I did, I was just you know a street artist at that moment. I used to, you know, um, have a real deep connection with thirty seven, and I would just you know write the number and like a paw like a dog paw type style mm-hmm. where it would be like a dog pound type tribe mm-hmm. and I would also represent like the dog town or like skating and, yeah, and yeah. mobbing and trying just to you know connect the culture that to I was it, yeah. in, into and it was like something my homies were really big on so when I was painting out here in Arizona mm-hmm. and just like you know doing my own thing after you know um, graduating high school and stuff moving away from it all, trying to move away from it all, I, you know, brought a little bit with me out here, and it, it really grew with me, yeah. and I got real personal with the, um, you know, with the street art, and I was able to do murals, and, and be able to, you know, find the true path of, like, the connection of my major, and, and all that good yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. to the point where my homies back home were on the same vibe, they were connecting to the music, and saying 37 in the raps and stuff. Yeah. And it was getting me hyped. That was that's, like, yeah, that's, oh, that's dope, man. When other people were like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cling oh, on to shit. your shit. That shit is a fucking rush, bro. Like, yeah, yeah that's man. real, man. Especially when you're just out there just, <clears throat> you know, creating art for yourself. Yeah. It's like, it's a blessing where people could eventually, like, understand and even support that. So when I got into hip hop and, you know, freestyle, it was really underground. I wanted to hit the knowledge points. I wanted to yeah. be like beyond the norm um, club hits. I wanted to speak knowledge, but also just you know have fun. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I grew. I grew into like writing a little bit, and I also, ironically, met you at my first open mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My first open mic, man. Yeah. I was just testing the waters and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just like just. <laughs> Open a whole new path and shit. So now that I'm on my first like interview, it's like hip hop is really chosen for me yeah. instead of like me choosing it. And it uh, it took me this far and stuff. I yeah. definitely um, appreciate growing up in Los Angeles and and dedicating that connection mm-hmm. to like the ocean and and that type of nature scene, but also having like that Arizona sunset vibe. Yo, And then yeah. bringing it to life. That sunset art. out here in Phoenix is real, man. Yeah, that it's shit an inspiration. Is beautiful as hell, That's an inspiration man. for sure, no yeah. doubt. That's, that really took me into like uh, meditation and, and mm-hmm. really seeing the truth in myself. It was a lot of, um, you know, times I just wanted to make beats and just find that rhythm and, yeah. and pro- you know, perfect my craft, and I definitely got the rhythm of the spirit where it was just like, this is 
a, a therapeutic like practice where I could, you know, yeah. eventually grow and get better and better. Yeah. And then the homies would be like, dude, you got something on your you hand. Got some you're shit, like, bro. You got some shit. You're not man. even trying. <laughs> 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 so man, bro, like yo, we got uh Master Double R in the building, man. Like, yeah. you know, so we're gonna be kicking it and we about to go ahead and spark up some, you know, so hey, what's going on? Yeah, what's good? What's next good? just popped in here, hell yeah. So yeah, come on in. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Chill out. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, we got a whole crew in this bit. Yeah, oh, yeah dude, that's what's up, yo. But uh so we're gonna go ahead and jump into a track though, man. Uh yeah. Master Double R real quick, and then we're gonna spark up. You feel me? Um, but uh, let's go ahead and let me say my mantra. You know what I mean? Before mm. we yeah, get into the daily doses. Know, huh? Exactly, huh? exactly. You feel me? So, <laughs> <clears throat> real quick though, uh, we didn't take the smoke not to abuse, but to heal the body, elevate the mind, uplift and enlighten the soul and spirit, gut, mind, and heart, man. So, with that being said, man, let's go ahead and jump into this first track, bro. Uh, for the people, man, what are we gonna do for the people, bro? Mm. I say let's um, start him off right with uh, a good a good smoking song. Let's hit mm-hmm. print on him. Okay. We definitely spark start the party off with this one. I feel like this is a good birthday vibe for me. Hey. And I uh, you just want to just get people what I he created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we gonna yeah. have a celebration. That's for Hell sure. Yeah. So yo, <laughs> this is called Print Master Double R. Y'all let us know how y'all feel about it. Puff a pass. Mm. Super poor. All right. find your music man i got an instagram that's going up right now yeah. Ray, Ray squirtle 37 okay i got that link to my soundcloud soundclouds 37 Ray, wave radio mm-hmm. wave as a w a v radio uh i just wish that just because you know i'm about putting my homies on before i take any type of shine and shit because I got, you know, more important things to do and shit. Yeah. So we're going to keep progressing. We're going to keep, you know, pushing everybody forward yeah. and making sure I stand out as a leader and making sure everybody got a spotlight, especially yeah. in this label. 
uh, Tree Sage, Tree Sage on Instagram said this should go, bro. So it, hey, that's what's up, man. But uh, so where where the where did Master Double R come from, man? Like where where did the name come from, bro? Well, it started from Mister Double R, and that was back like um. I got that from the big homie who got locked up like right after high school and shit. Damn. And which like kind of changed my perspective of like LA and how I need to get my shit right. Yeah. So, you know, I like take that in recognition of like him giving me a name. And I went with it, double R, because I got two R's in my name. Okay. And um, Master came into being able to master tracks, edit my own tracks and also engineer mm-hmm. like my band and stuff so i've been putting progression on that so you you like, do a lot on the producing side yeah. of the game too like, yeah. You know I'm yeah i'm i'm there behind the scene like shaping yeah. making sure like the the quality's there and i i'm putting my all into it yeah. for sure hell yeah man man shit master double r bro so he just he came through y'all man with this beanie you see on my head right now, man. Now, it fucked me up, bro, because earlier you was talking about 37, bro. And I, I just said, I was just saying 777. <laughs> like, the whole yeah, time. I was yeah, like, yeah, 37. 777. But, yeah, when you said 37, then I, like, really started looking at it. I'm like, oh, that's hard as hell, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Can you go into, like, you know, what 37 is and, like, you know, how that brand, how the brand got started and everything, man? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 37 is the third planet seven days a week. That's Ooh. our connection to the earth. That's our mind, body, and soul, our temple of God. So uh, what I did with this yeah. symbol is that I made it into a temple. If you look at it, yeah, like that's, the way that's you look dope. at it is the way you'll see the temple. Yeah. But other people are going to see the 37. There's different ways around it, but I like that the, um, you know, the universe blesses us with very... Um, you know, unique mindsets and yeah. growth patterns, and that depends on our frequency. Seven 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 is considered a frequency. Mm-hmm. Twenty one, um, you know, it's just mathematics. Yeah. At the end of the day, like you can tie it down to a lot of things. The thirty seven states, um, after the first thirteen colonies, yeah, like there's just history behind it it's in movies it's in so many codes Yo, man. but like my truth of it is just representing the third planet and being connected eco-conscious yeah and just being there you yeah. know aware you know blessed to be alive and just certain that you're here for a purpose and you can focus on you yeah and just progress and grow from that yeah man you got a you got a real unique and like different outlook on like you know uh things like you know and and I don't, I don't want yeah you, the universe and shit and like you yeah. know the way of life and shit like that man like when did you kind of like come into this realization that like I'm not saying like you know you you are deeper than anybody else but like let's say you think differently like you know what I'm saying yeah. than people like so because yeah. I don't want everybody to be like oh this new Francisco trying to say everybody smoke like you know what I mean so. Yeah. Squash all that. When you started feeling differently than everybody else, you know what I mean? Mm. That was that was really learning my lessons, you know? Learning what kind of mindset I put myself into. Yeah. And then growing from those situations and those experiences where I'm able to really move forward. Yeah. I'm able to take that next step. I'm able to complete that next task where mm. I'm just, you know, eventually evolving. And I saw people that weren't. Yeah, you know, there's definitely clues. There's definitely like experiences you're gonna go through where people are not gonna be on your same frequency, and they're not gonna be, you know, trying to put you onto like a higher conscious where you're, oh, you know, eventually sustaining for yourself and being able to provide for your family. Like that's what that's that's a whole nother game where college also like was like where do i what do i do with this education and what am i going to do with this knowledge itself because the connection to the earth was really putting me forward in my education i I had a major in park and recreation and that took me to like national parks and youth development summer camps and it was fun yeah 
So you, yeah. like you you work with the youth a lot, or uh, you know you like you enjoy working with the youth. Mm. Like what what has that been like uh, over the last couple of years or so? Like you know while trying to you know maintain uh, becoming an artist, you know, and like making it you know uh, on the main. I mean, you know, making it uh, to a successful level and, like, sustainable level, like, mm. how is that, like, you know, and trying to, you know, kind of work with kids and give them, like, guidance and stuff like that, you know? At the it's same all time. inspiration. Yeah. Like, it's really motivation to the spirit when an innocent person just wants to have fun or they just want to, like, um, you know, be inspired to, like, be the best them they can be. Yeah. And then they eventually try to do that. They yeah. have those connections with their friends and those people and their friends start to have like you know a deeper connection to what I'm like trying to teach them mm-hmm. and it's just personal growth like a lot into it was um you know having the opportunity yeah. and you know just giving back to my community yeah. and then from there it was you know providing for the future uh you know a step forward of you know, not being afraid of being themselves. Mm-hmm. And they were out there creating, and they are out there, you know, <laughs> leveling up day yeah, by yeah. day on the handball that, court. That is cool to just, see that, yeah. You know, doing what they got to do because that's that's what you do with your time. Yeah. And they understood that, and I understood that with my art. So I really progressed in trying to not only do what I can do with my music as of, like, teach but also have fun. Yeah, you know? yeah, and that's and that's the balance of it. You gotta grow up. You gotta. <laughs> that's real, you gotta man. Have like it sucks, man. But adulthood is real, you bro. Gotta have that change. Yeah, yeah that's real. That's real as hell, bro, man. So hey, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Make sure you smoke some. You feel me? Uh, we gonna go ahead and jump back into another track, man. We got Master Double R here in the building, and yeah, we gonna. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna roll up another one, but uh. Yeah, man, let's jump into this next track, man. Uh, what's this next one we're going to do for, man? We're going to do... Uh, Creatures. Creatures? You want to do that? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, and this one right here, can you go into this? Creatures of the Sea, bro. Like, you know what I'm Ooh. saying? That's a, that's a cold title, you know what I'm saying? So, what, what, what what's this about, bro? Like, Real, real life situations yeah. at the beach. Like, I was putting my time in at this mountain. Yeah. And I just keep skating it going like 20 miles per hour yeah. just waving down this hill on my longboard like with the like <laughs> with the view of the ocean and, and it feels like I'm like really controlling my destiny at that moment because yeah. people are seeing me have fun and then I put that on a track and then I just really you know take those people to that moment where I was able to, you know, gravitate to, you know, a certain energy, mm. and, you know, we had fun with it. Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> man. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoy this as well. This is called Creatures of the Sea by your boy, Master Double R, all right? Chill. <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah, we did it all Bitches of the city, what you throw? Oh, shawty, I'm alone Call me on the phone, what that be? Master Double R right there, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it. That was called Creatures of the Sea, man. So, uh, is that is are these like released though, or no? These are not yet released though. And this is the print shit is that print is that's print. right. That's you got right. the EMP out. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I was wondering if this was from the EMP, but man. Yeah. Bruh. So you do it all pretty much, man. Like you know, you you record you. You do the vocals, you actually make the beat, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. mix and shit like so like yeah. what what is like the favorite your favorite aspect when it comes to like creating a new project? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like everybody has their process, but like, you know, what is like that one aspect that like when you hit it, it's like, ooh I did that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. what, what what's that um, you know, that, that energy moment? that energy really yeah. comes from really premeditating on that on that beat yeah okay. um and just really getting in tune and and just really finding the right words that are eventually about to go like on for the track yeah like I mean when it comes <laughs> down to it mm-hmm. that final process yeah is gonna be the magic yeah and it's gonna really like motivate me to you know make another one yeah and, now, um, if you now if you were to have only like I guess one position like for the ultimate like album, but you can only play one role like you know what I mean one position that whether that be the artist uh, the recording artist whether that be the beat maker producer or the mix and master the engineer the guy that like cleans it all up and is like and add that like little funk to it you know what I'm saying. You can only choose one like position to make this ultimate album, mm. but which one would you choose? Like, yeah, I'm definitely about to press that button on the keyboard for sure. Oh yeah, like, beat making. Beat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this song would have been shit if I didn't just do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but producing's really fun. That's what's that's like. the that's the truth. That's the real meditation mm. to the groove, like. I mean, I listen to a lot of jazz, I listen to a lot of alternative, and mixing and mastering any instrument I want Mm. is like, you know, one of those gifts that you can just always practice on. Yeah. And it's always like something you can always progress in. Yeah. Where you're gonna get better and better. And that's the golden key of like, you know, making music, because it starts with the sounds. It starts with that connection with like that drum beat, that heartbeat. You know, what you feel like? What do you really? What do you really want to hear? Yeah, you know. Nah, that's real, bro. For real. Uh, so, man, uh, before we jump into this uh, segment, it's uh, just a random stoner questions. You know, um, can you please tell the people uh, where they can find you again, man? You know, uh, more about the uh, Thirty Seven brand, man. Right. Like, you know. 
how they can cop them something, like, you know? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So I pretty much manage 37 Mob Official, mm -hmm. and that is the platform for me and my artist. Um, we're local in Los Angeles. Uh, our website is connected in the bio. It's 37 Mop Productions. Mm -hmm. We got a uh, artist, Dom Hussein. He's a... <laughs> What's his name, bro? Dom Hussein. <laughs> yo, he crazy, yo. Yeah, he is crazy. Yeah, he got yeah. the craziest videos. We shot, like, one of the most futuristic films, like, mm -hmm. I've ever been a part of. That's what's and, up. like, we, we made history for sure. Like, that whole fall was like a whole trip like that was a really push forward into like who we are as a, a business yeah and, you know you got to be there for your friends you got to be there for the people that you're eventually going to win with yeah because like you're just thinking for yourself in this game coronavirus man bro it's taking <laughs> out, man. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it out you know saying, so you're yeah. gonna have to be aware about who you're gonna hold it down with who you're gonna like really ride with and just be down for your team. Like, That's I got nice. Shogun OZ, uh, HK, uh, Chase My G, and that's. That's, that's the rock crew. That's a squad like, right there. That's the rock crew. Yeah. We real. We real. Like, we real tight. Hell yeah. And this is like 20 years of like relationship. Like, Hell yeah. Now just are, holding it down to the roots. Are you guys all out in Cali right now? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. We really holding it down to the temple. Hell yeah. So, uh, one more time, where, where can they find it? Like, you know what I'm saying? 37 Mob yep. Official. 37 yeah. Mob Official. Yeah, man. Hey, Master Double R in the building, man. Yes, Yo, sir. we're going to jump into another track, man, and then uh, come back with some random stoner questions, bro. Yes. Yeah, and then, yes. uh, yeah. <laughs> bro, where's that to it, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, it's getting rolled right now, bro. It's getting rolled right you, now. I got you. Hey, uh, we're going to play We Rock. We Rock. What's up? Which one are we going to do? We Rock. We Rock? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, not Good Light or uh, Parmesan? Yeah, okay. yeah. We're going uh, to take it to the court. He said, he said, nah, yeah. take it to the court. <laughs> What's going on, Javante? Thanks for tuning in, bro. Hope you got one uh, in the air right now, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's turn uh, it. So, yo, this one right here is called We Rock. Master Double R, y'all. Pop that. Back on the shits. Back on the shits. Bagging a bitch. I'm bagging a bitch. She throwing a fit. She blow me a kiss. I'm kissing the moon. I'm touching the sun, we do this for fun I don't do this for none, give me my funds My bitch show me love, these drugs give me hugs Puffing the bud, I'm puffing the bud Doing my stuff, step in the room They knew it was us, niggas went try me Get left in the dust, I can be cuffed My freedom's a must, you niggas got must You niggas got mold and all of the rust I'm taking a risk, it might be a bust I might have to bust, these niggas act tough I know you won't do it, I'm calling your bluff I'm taking your shit like snow in the bluff And make me a movie Taking off masks like Scooby Then roll me a doobie and get to the booty Alright, bitch get in my car We can chase the stars Or we can paint some art How you soft and acting so hard Spreading those lies, I'm pulling your card I pull out these bars I be in Hollywood Boulevard, yeah, yeah, we the superstar. Give it my all, give it my heart. Earthbound, yeah, this is my spot. Yeah, this is how we ride. Yeah, yeah. Up in the broadcast, smoking it all gas, living a life for the view. Yeah, yeah. Living a life for chosen few. Chosen. Popping the shrooms off in the galaxy. 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 Mama, hope you're proud of me, proud of me, you're proud of me. Yeah, lift it up, live the legacy, legacy. Yeah, see, I did it for my seed, did it for my kin, did it for the crib, did it for the win. Ain't no telling when we winning, we just winning. Yeah, peace and forgiveness. Maybe, baby, I'm just 
different. I hit the track with a different approach. I haven't found a formidable foe. When I pull up, I'm a kick in the dough. I got the codes and I'm sticking the dose. Why niggas looking so frivolous for? Oh, because this be the rock, not the core. Fuck it, then I never heard this before. Everyone quiet, please turn it up more. Hundred bands on a hundred bands. When I make a sale, I do the running man. I'm proud of myself, you don't understand. I can strike them out with an underhand. Niggas sleeping like they took a ton of Zans. I have no problem with waking them up. I got the patience, I'm tired of waiting. It's crazy, the future was waiting for us. We making that paper and saving it up. Meditating, my chakras get raised in a bunch. I can see from the jump you was playing a bluff. Come on now, you know I can't make this shit up. Hop on the track and then flavor it up with some fuego so high you ain't able to touch. I'm in the corner, I'm ray in the clutch. Man, that shot like a motherfucking layup to us. We took your girl and persuaded her trust. Now all she does is do favors for us. What she thought was love was mistaken for lust. Till my head showed a shrug. Bitch, we never gave a fuck. All the gang do is level up. This ain't off the top, but heads up. Work until we get the bread up. Yo, Master Double R, man. We rock, bro. Like, and that was with the squad, too? Like, yeah. That was with the Korean gang. That's Corilla. Yeah. Okay, man. Yo, shout out to you, man. For real, for real. Yo, and please send me some music, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to get everything exposed out here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Except the COVID shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but music and shit, we are gonna make sure that shit get out here. But yo, we got Master Double R in the building, man. Thank you once That's again right. for coming That's through, right. bro. Like, you know, mm -hmm. for real. Uh, this segment right here is our random stoner questions. Um, a few of you guys may have heard these questions before, uh, but you know, we got my man on for the first time, and I'm really interested in you know, like how you gonna answer some of these questions, man. So. Uh, first question, real quick, is ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. Ketchup. Okay. All right. It's going I don't exactly want it, out. Not playing. What? I want the. It like what? What do you like? Ketchup or mustard? If you was have, putting, to have one I'm not condiment, ketchup on a turkey sandwich. If you had one condiment for the rest of your life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you choose the ketchup, or you choose the mustard. Which one? Ketchup. Ketchup. Okay. Oh uh, man. If you were able, like, you can choose one. Would you rather be able to fly? No, be able to run at 100 miles per hour or be able to fly at 10 miles per hour? Fly. I love these ones. Fly at 10 miles per hour, like, compared to running. Um, yeah. yeah. Say it, fly. Yeah. yeah. Say it, fly, man. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I love it. Mm hmm. You prefer a cold toilet seat or a warm toilet seat? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> warm, sure. warm. Oh for sure, for man, sure. yo, yeah, oh shit. Bro. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Got a bad grizzly sometimes out there in the woods. <laughs> Going to Flagstaff, so. Front door or the back door? Back door. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, front of the bus or back of the bus. <laughs> I mean, you don't really like. I'm in the back. We in the, the back. Mob, you know, we in the, in the back. The mob. Yeah, man, I love that. Taking shit. five seats. Yeah. Slip. This one says, "Now, would you rather be stuck with a pebble in your shoe or one wet sock?" Wet sock. Wet sock. Yeah, I mean, how long am I? How long am I having this pebble in my sock? Uh, let's say, let's say for like a week, like constant, Whoa. like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you gotta walk around me. with a with a pebble, <laughs> or you gotta walk around with one wet sock for a whole week, and it's like it don't dry, my nigga. Like it don't matter, bro. <laughs> don't matter what you do, bro. It's a wet sock for some reason. Bro. I don't know, man. You probably sick or some shit, like. Man, but that wet sock, wet sock still. Oh, All, right, yeah. All right, man. Uh, just a few more questions, bro. What is one body part you have to you have to like get rid of it? What is one part body part that you could do without? It has to be one of the extremities. My baby toe. It has to be extreme. Yeah, one of the extremities. Damn. Right? You know what I'm saying hand, eye. My temple. But your Damn. tempo. Yeah, you can't have it. <laughs> yeah, you can't live without it. I don't think. You can't can you? have it. Nah, nah, that I can't mean, be that can't be yeah, a choice. Don't run into you, hell no. Let's see. Right, 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 right. You know. Take, take a rib. Take a rib. Take a rib. 
Nah, man. That's, I'm gonna nah, create man. Some shit. Nah, it's gotta be external, bro. Like when people walk by, like they look at, <laughs> they do the double take and shit. Like, ah, oh, okay. Like you know what I'm saying? This is how I'm gonna address you and shit. Mm. So it's gotta be on the outside type of shit. Like me, I say I. Yeah. I, I take uh, my. I think my, I think my right eye is worse than my left eye, so I take my right eye. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I be down to go one hand because I know they're gonna get some robot arm soon. No, yeah, you ain't. You can't. You can't get you can't anything replace to replace it, it, bro. It's like you living life without it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's like everybody be like, yeah, now nah, I'm gonna get some, and then I'm gonna get the surgery and shit, nigga. Be like, uh, what's a uh, bicentennial man or some shit? Uh, I don't know. I'm going. I'm high. But uh, yeah, what uh. <laughs> Real quick though, um, you said the hand, you want to do the hand? Yeah, my left hand for sure. Okay. Mm, you don't need that. Last question, but would you rather not have any elbows or not have any knees? So Damn. what we're saying is like either your arms are like you know like just locked in to position or your legs are locked in to position. No. <laughs> no elbows, no knees. Which one, man? Dude, what y'all think, man? I can't draw, I can't draw, and I can't skate either. Or, hmm. I would give up. I will give up skating for sure. The knees? Yeah. Oh man, to be able to draw and shit, you just gotta stand up everywhere you draw. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel you though, man. Uh, hey anyway. man, master double R, man. I appreciate you for uh, you know. Um, Tuning, I mean, vibing out with your boy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With the rolling, with the rolling stoner, man. Yeah. Appreciate you making it all this way to Phoenix and shit. Like, you know, and representing, man. I appreciate the beanie, you know what I'm saying? 37, bro. Before yeah. we get up out of here with one more track, man, can you please tell the people uh, where they can find you and, yes. like, you know, what you got going on and shit? Yes, man. right now you can find me at Ray Squirtle. Yeah. R A Y Squirtle. <laughs> Pokemon, yes. 37. <laughs> Um, that's on IG 37 Mob Official running that that's my clothing brand that's you know my music production and and the whole squad right now we have uh, um, 37 Wave Radio on SoundCloud you know setting the whole new trend and uh, providing guys with good music good tunes so hope you guys enjoy hell yeah man so yo we gonna go out on this one track Yo, it's your boy Francisco Phoenix, the Rolling Stoner, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate y'all. You got to check out the uh, Rolling Music Video Series, man, on IG, man. Like, you know, we got dope artists uh, always dropping some dope visuals and shit, man. So we trying to get that exposed as well. Uh, and also the Rolling, um, Rolling with the Rolling Stoner RWRS playlist on Spotify, man. Go check that out, man. Uh, I know it's going to become one of your favorite playlists and shit, you know what I'm saying? So... But yeah, we're going to go ahead and tune out on this, man. Y'all know where to find me, the Francisco Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere. Uh, this last track, what are we doing, man? What are we doing for the people, bro? For the people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they need. So you turn them up? Hey, what's good, bro? We, hey, what's it's the, the outro. Hey, you know what's the uh, deja vu? Deja vu? All right, man. Deja vu, man. And this has been another episode, bro. Yo, y'all be easy, y'all be safe, y'all stay elevated, and, <coughs> uh, you know what I'm saying, get that uh, checked up. Alright, y'all enjoy this. Yeah. Cover the gang. You feel me? Belly, 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 baby go fuck it up, baby go do your stuff, baby go do your stuff, baby go fuck it up, baby go fuck it up, baby go do your stuff, baby go do your stuff, baby go do it, baby go do it, baby go do it.
to treat the flower Baby, it's nothing but water Mixed with the love and the molly Bag of time in your city I can see so clearly All I feel is the fire Taking them higher and higher Hope you not getting tired We got some ways to go Need you to drop it low Nice and slow Yeah, girl, do your dance We gon' get this cash Baby, 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 baby go fuck it up Baby, go do your stuff Baby, go do your stuff Baby, go fuck it up Shoguns turn on the microphone I hope you like how I played on the xylophone I always see in kaleidoscope Frying just like a potato from Idaho Got me some bounce and a pound to an ounce And I find me a beat to get right in on Double cup up in my hand But it's only water up in my styrofoam Had little mama so clueless I was talking money but she wasn't so fluid Move it baby that just won't do it Looks like you gotta put your back into it She like how to flow so fluid When she touch your toes she looks the coolest I'm a young opportunist What I say she do it, do it, do it